I've got a cake to bake. I've got no clue at all. I've got a cake to bake. Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Pascal Marschiff and this is Chef's Choice. Today I'm doing another issue of the Eurovision Food Tour and uh, this time we visit the beautiful country of Latvia. Because firstly there were a few people in the last video that requested that I do a video about Latvian food and the other reason is that I think Latvia has been very underrated in the last two editions of the Eurovision Song Contest uh, with Aminata and Just. I think both performances were incredible. So this time I'm doing Latvian inspired food and when I did some research I found that um, there are two things that Latvians love to eat and that is sour cream and pancakes so I tried to incorporate this into the menu. But for the appetizer we start with a slightly changed version of piraki. I'm sorry if I pronounced that completely wrong but those are uh, some buns filled with bacon. My version is that I tried to incorporate the pancakes into it so I'm doing pancake covered bacon strips actually with a cranberry sauce. And for the entree I'm making uh, stuffed peppers and Sklandrausis. Again, I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong, um, but those are vegetable tarts with potato and carrot. And I will do some coleslaw along with that as well. And for dessert, um, there will be um, some beautiful apple tarts. I hope they come out the same way that I saw it on the internet. And sour cream ice cream. And as an announcement, um, the next edition of the Eurovision Food Tour will be about uh, Dutch food. If you want to see that, if you're excited for it, uh, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. For this clump of houses, we need rye flour, caraway seeds, salt, potatoes, milk, sour cream, carrots and honey. For the amount of ingredients, uh, I will put all the recipes that I used in the description below, so you can find everything there. Now I need to uh, crush some caraway seeds. A little bit of warm water. A little bit of butter. Unfortunately, I still don't have a rolling pin, so I have to roll out the dough again with the wine bottle. Maybe I should say again that I am not a professional cook. I've already prepared the potatoes, just boil them in water, mash them, put in some milk and some butter, season it as, as you wish and you just um, fill the potato mash as the bottom layer. You want it to be about a third or, or about half the height of, of the tart. And the same with the carrots that you also boil separately in water and mash them up. And put in some sour cream and egg and some honey and salt. And you just fill the tart up with this. And I think it's really quite a traditional dish that the, the Latvians actually eat, which is why I wanted to try it out. Since we're actually doing Latvian food and um, gonna put this in the oven, I can't pass up the opportunity of saying I've got a cake to bake, I've got no clue at all I've got a cake to bake, I haven't done that before Don't be proud mate, please don't bother So come on and ask your mother how to bake, how to bake Bake that cake. For the stuffed peppers, we need peppers, onion, minced pork meat, rice, tomato paste, water, and sour cream. Now, one part of the main dish is done. I've realized that the stuffing is actually quite similar to the, the cabbage roll stuffing that I did in the last video. Psst, don't tell anyone. So it's uh, minced pork meat, um, rice, onions, tomato paste, um, salt, and pepper. And uh, I added a little bit of rosemary, just mix that all up. When it's mixed up, um, you just fill up your peppers. You can fill them as a whole or you can just cut them in half as I did. 
Once you've done that, you can prepare the sauce in the, for the baking tray. I'll just add some water and sour cream. Season it as well. And then you just um, place your peppers inside. Just bake it for a while in the oven. It's hard to, to really uh, give it time. Um, it depends on, on the size of the peppers and, and how much filling there is. So you just need to take a look once in a while and see how it is. And that's it for the sour cream ice cream. We need sour cream, powdered sugar, vanilla bean, lemon, cream and starch. Let's go to the sour cream ice cream. Sour cream, quite a lot of it. We're not counting calories today. Sugar. And the vanilla bean. I love how you would never think of a plant like this when you think of the smell or the taste of vanilla. Mix that all up. Mm. Next, a little bit of cream. I already brought to the boiling point before uh, with a little bit of uh, cornstarch. You can add that to the mix. And now you just put that in the freezer or in your ice cream machine and you're done. For the apple tarts we need a puff pastry, apples, lemon, sugar, cinnamon and an egg. For the apple tart we need to slice some apples, cook them just for a little bit. Actually you just put them in, in boiling water and then turn the heat off. And uh, after a minute you take them out and, and uh, put them on a paper towel to, to dry off. So once the apples are cooled down, you make slices of the dough, about 3 inches um, thick. And you start layering out the, the apples so that they look upward a little bit from, from the dough. So when, when you roll the dough, um, the, the apples are still a little bit higher. Then you fold up the dough. Um, now once that's done, you can start rolling them. So in the end, <laughs> you got these kind of rose petal like tarts. What I forgot to say is that um, with the egg wash you also um, put some sugar and uh, cinnamon on the dough before you start layering and rolling. I will do that now. These are the ingredients for the appetizer. Eggs, flour, salt, milk, oil and bacon. And now finally for the appetizer. So uh, I just made a, a regular pancake mix. I put the recipe in uh, the description because I was looking for a Latvian uh, pancake recipe um, the, the dough is thinner than, um, than you might be used to if, you, if you're uh, used to American pancakes. I've also um, already fried some bacon strips and uh, cut them in half. Now I'm trying to dip them in the pancake mix and uh, see what happens when I put it in the pan. All right, here we are, finally. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't show you everything that I made, um, but the recipes, as I said, are in the description below. For instance, the, the coleslaw, um, I didn't show, but that's just cabbage and um, I chose fennel, uh, because carrots, for instance, are already in the vegetable tart, so um, I thought they would match better with fennel. And the cranberry sauce is actually just um, cranberries boiled in water uh, with sugar and blended and that's it more or less. But wait a second, I don't know if I'm on focus. Um, yeah, the bacon strips didn't turn out exactly the way that I thought they would, but um, actually they're quite nice. The pancake layer is, is very thin. Um, so it just gives a little bit of taste. Now I'm trying them with the cranberry sauce. Oh, it looks delicious. Mm. I could eat that every day, the whole day. I'm excited to try this vegetable tart.
The dough is a little bit undercooked in, in the bottom, but the taste of the tart is awesome. It looks very simple, um, but it's a taste that I've never had before. Like this, this potato and carrot, um, together also with the, the rye flour and the cumin that is in there. Um, it's really delicious. Thank you, Latvia. And the stuffed pepper, I don't think that will be a surprise here. Um, I think as a whole in, in a meal, it's brilliant. You have the meat here, you have the vegetables. I mean, it actually tastes really good. The recipe is great, um, but it's not something that I never tasted before. Um, yeah, the coleslaw, as I said, is just a simple coleslaw, just to go with, give it some freshness to the whole dish. And, uh, and it really does that. And now, this beautiful apple tart. It looks so gorgeous. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. But first, let's try the ice cream. Mmm, that is perfect. It's creamy, the lemon inside is just strong enough. I've already made a few ice creams in my life, but I think this might be the best one. And now the apple tart. It's perfect on the bottom. Amazing. There's just something about apple and cinnamon and sugar that um, can never go wrong. I'm excited and thank you Latvia for all these inspirations and I hope that I will get to someday um, enjoy a real authentic uh, Latvian meal that, uh, in a Latvian restaurant or even travel to Latvia. But for now that's it from me and uh, I hope you enjoyed what you saw and uh, maybe try it out at home for yourself and as I said um, if you want to see the next cooking video about Dutch food um, you have to subscribe to the channel um, so you don't miss it. Uh, see you next time! Bye! I can't believe they turned out this way. I actually think they will be delicious. I haven't tried anything yet, but I'm excited too, and I'm hungry, and uh, I hope you enjoyed what After Jamal's win for Ukraine, it's time to take a look at the road to Eurovision 2017. What has happened? Who's in? Who's out? Where are we going? What can we expect? It's time for the Eurovision update. Originally planned for August 1st, Ukraine has 